بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو یور چینل دی اناٹمی کینوس ان ٹو ڈیز کلاس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ود دا ڈیولپمنٹ آف دی فور کٹ اینڈ ان دس کلاس وی ول ڈسکس دی فور کٹ میزینٹریز دا ڈیولپمنٹ آف دی اسٹمک اینڈ دی ڈیولپمنٹ آف دی ڈیوڈینم سو ڈیولپمنٹ آف دا اسٹمک اٹ انیشیلی اپیئرز بائی دا فورتھ ویک آف ڈیولپمنٹ ایز اے فیو سی فارم ڈائلیٹیشن آف دا فور کٹ وچ از فرسٹ انڈیکیشن دیٹ ان دس ایریا دا اسٹمک ول بی فارم دس از اے فیو سی فارم ڈائلیٹیشن ان دا ایریا آف دی فور کٹ سو ڈفرینٹ میزینٹریز دا اسٹمک از اسپینڈیڈ فارم دی ڈارسل وال آف دی ایپٹامینل کیویٹی بائی دا ڈارسل میزینٹری کال دی ڈارسل میزو گیسٹریم This mesentery is originally very thick and it lies in the median plane. Later on, it is shifted to the left side due to rotation of the stomach. The ventral mesentery called the ventral mesogastrium attaches the stomach with anterior abdominal wall. It is in fact septum transversum. So greater and lesser curvatures so by the fifth week of development, posterior part of the stomach grows at a faster rate than the anterior part. So this is the anterior part and this one is the posterior direction. By seven to eight week around the longitudinal axis, the stomach carries a rotation 90 degree clockwise and it's a left side to face anteriorly. So this uh, diagram is showing the rotation uh, in the, it uh, rotates around the longitudinal longitudinal axis in such a way that its right borders moves posteriorly and its left border moves anteriorly. So because of this rotation at the 90 degree clockwise, the left side faces to the anterior side. So this is the direction, this is a fusiform dilatation initially which shows the areas of the stomach. Here you can see the differential growth rate that this part is growing at a faster rate and this is the uh, direction of the rotation around the longitudinal axis so that the uh, right border moves posteriorly and the left border moves anteriorly and it is also because of this rotation that the right vagus nerve which is initially supplying the right side of the stomach will now later on supply the posterior aspect of the stomach similarly the left vagus nerve which will initially be supplying the left border of the stomach will later on supply the anterior part of the stomach so here you can see that because of the differential growth rate this one is forming the lesser curvature of the stomach the greater curvature of the stomach also the cardiac end is visible now the cardiac incisura is forming this is the body of the stomach and this is the pyloric end Another rotation occurs at the transverse axis in such a way that the caudal end of the stomach moves upwards and to the right position. And similarly, the cranial end of the stomach or the cephalic end of the stomach moves downwards and to the right direction. So there are usually two rotations in the stomach. One is in the longitudinal axis as a result of longitudinal rotation 90 degree clockwise, right side posterior faces posteriorly and left side faces interiorly. Similarly, uh, um, the rotation around the horizontal axis or the transverse axis and because of this ro rotation, the lower end or the caudal end moves upwards and to the right and the cranial are the cephalic and moves downwards and to the left. So these are the two different rotations of the stomach. Here you can see uh, this is the basically the uh, anterior part, anterior direction and, and posterior are the right part and the left part. Here you can see this is the actually hepato, uh, uh, hepatophrenic recess of the lesser omentum and this is the right pneumoenteric recess. Here you can see these are the right and the left lung birds which are present. This part is the esophagus. This part is the developing stomach. And and here you can see the perigastric, retrogastric and the greater mental recesses which are forming. What happens actually that in the uh, right side of the pericardioperitoneal canal there uh, are some uh, um, uh, cavities appears and when these cavities coalesce they form a recess which will give the name the pneumoenteric recess. This is also called the 
superior recess of the omental bursa also called pneumoenteric recess as well and superior recess of the omental bursa in this diagram you can also see this is the area where the liver has started to develop and this is the position of the inferior vena cava and the inf this is the infracardiac bursa and this is the uh, stomach which is going to develop and these all are the different recesses of the lesser omentum which are, are the omental bursa which are forming over here their different names for these are the perigastric, retrogastric and greater omental recesses in this diagram this is the section over here this arrow shows the direction uh, plane of the section here you can see this is the um, uh, this is the recess extends cranially into the pneumoenteric recess and this is is the inferior vena cava and this is the parietal peritoneum which is developing and the secondarily this is the dorsal mesogastrium and this area is the ventral mesogastrium in this diagram you can see this is the section taken over here you can see developing uh, stomach the dorsal mesogastrium in which spleen primordium is developing and this spleen primordium divides this dorsal mesogastrium into two parts the one which attaches the stomach to the spleen is called the gastrosplenic ligament and the one that attaches the spleen to the developing kidney is called the splenic or renal ligament and here you can see the developing pancreas over here and when this developing pancreas pancreas um, touches the posterior abdominal wall there is the line of the fusion where the peritoneum will dis, uh, degenerate and then the pancreas will become the secondarily retroperitoneal organ here you can see further development in the lesser sac or the lesser omentum the this is actually the pancreatic pneumoenteric recess also called the superior recess of the lesser omentum this area shows the epiploic foramen where the lesser sac is uh, opening into the greater sac these areas show the uh, uh, junction where the upper and the lower part of the lesser sac are in connection this area of the lesser sac is called the perigastric uh, recess of the lesser sac this dot dotted arrow shows the area which is present behind the stomach and is called the retrogastric recess and the area below the stomach is called the greater omental bursa of the lesser sac uh, this is the, the this arrow shows the section of uh, this area here you can see the developing um, stomach the lesser omentum which is forming and here you can see the gastrosplenic ligament and the spleen which is forming over here here the, you can see the kidneys also the development of the pancreas which has become now the retroperitoneal in this diagram you can see this area is the anterior or the ventral mesentery of the uh, uh, stomach also called ventral mesogastrium and this is the dorsal mesentery of the stomach also called the dorsal mesogastrium so in ventral mesogastrium you can see there uh, there is the development of the liver and this di liver divides the ventral mesogastrium into two part the part of the ventral mesentery or ventral mesogastrium which is anterior to the liver and it attaches is the liver to the anterior abdominal wall is called the falciform ligament part of the ventral mesentery or ventral mesogastrium which comes to lie between the stomach and the lower part of the esophagus stomach and upper part of the duodenum and attaches it to the liver is given the name of the lesser omentum here you can see the dorsal mesentery of the uh, stomach also called the dorsal mesogastrium here is the developing spleen which develops into the leaflets of the dorsal mesogastrium and because of this developing spleen the dorsal mesogastrium then divided into gastrosplenic ligament and splenico renal ligament here you can see uh, again this is the stomach the lesser omentum lesser omentum the falciform ligament the developing stomach this is the entrance to the epiploic foramen which is now being um, narrowed and this is the developing spleen here you can also see the developing pancreas as well this area show the expanding greater omentum which are the double layer folds of the peritoneum from the greater curvature which goes down 
downwards and then move upwards and initially the greater uh, mental bursa is present in it but later on because of the fusion of these all layer this will be present over here So this is a short video clip showing you the um, rotation of the stomach. Rotation of the stomach along the longitudinal axis as well as the transverse axis is shown in this part of the video. along the longitudinal axis and the rotation along the transverse axis is shown over here So this is the diagram showing you the fusiform uh, stomach which is forming and this hole is the tarsal mesogastrium and this area is the ventral mesogastrium. So uh, this is the position where dorsal aorta is present and this is the section which shows that the clefts are developing in the dorsal mesogastrium and when these clefts coalesce and they form a cavity over here which is called the superior recess of the omental bursa also called the right pneumoenteric recess. So this is superior recess of omental bursa or right pneumoenteric recess which is forming over here. Here you can see the um, rotation of the stomach which is taking place and because of this rotation the omental bursa is pushed dorsally behind the developing stomach and this uh, is the dorsal mesogastrium. Here you can see the dorsal ART. So further uh, because of this uh, rotation of the stomach, this dorsal mesogastrium is pushed, pulled behind the stomach and omental bursa is present behind the stomach and this is the junction where the uh, lesser sac or omental bursa communicate with the greater sac also called the uh, epiploic foramen. It is also called additus to the lesser omentum as well. Here you can see uh, this is the developing stomach and this is the dorsal mesogastrium. Mesogastrium, here and here you can see the omental bursa developing. So, because of the further development, this is the rotation because of rotation of the stomach, it is pushed pulled behind the stomach, and the larger recesses are forming. This is the inferior recess of omental bursa, and this is the retrogastric recess of omental bursa. So in this diagram you can also see uh, the very well the anterior or the ventral mesogastrium and in ventral mesogastrium you can see developing liver which divide the ventral mesogastrium into two anterior to the liver and which attaches the liver to the anterior abdominal wall is the falciform ligament and part which attaches the liver to the stomach is the lesser momentum. Similarly the tarsal mesogastrium over here and in which you can see the tarsal pancreatic bud is developed developing this is the area of the spleen and here you can see the duodenum which is also rotating and taking its final position 
So what are the different anomalies of the stomach? The congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis is the anomaly which is associated uh, with the um, development of the stomach but usually the anomalies of stomach are very rare and this anomaly occur because of the circular muscles in pyloric sphincters are hypertrophied and result in stenosis. So here you can see the uh, area of the pylorus, pyloric part of the stomach where you can see circular arrange, circularly arranged muscles uh, which are hypertrophied and which um, stenosis the uh, lumen of the pyloric part. This is the radiographic picture, contrast radiographic picture of the stomach in which you can see constriction um, in the pyloric part. Now we move on to development of the duodenum. The duodenum is attached to the dorsal body wall by the dorsal mesoduodenum and this is the dorsal mesoduodenum and to the liver and anterior body abdominal wall by the ventral mesoduodenum. So we should also know that the duodenum developed from the uh, part of the forecut, part of the midcut and also the splanchnopleuric mesenchyme which is present over here which is surrounding this area. Area. So, developmentally, the uh, duodenum has both the origin from the forecut and the midcut as well, and junction lies at the level of the major um, duodenal papilla where the bile duct originates. So, in this diagram, you can see this is the developing stomach, and these are the development of the primordial liver and gallbladder, and these two are the dorsal and the ventral pancreatic bud, and this is the part of the uh, duodenum. But because of the differential rate of uh, growth and uh, rotation of the stomach, and also different rate of growth of the duodenum, as well as developing uh, uh, pancreas, liver uh, uh, becomes a C shape structure and little bit move anteriorly and to the right side and uh, also you can see this is the developing pancreas and this is the uh, ventral pancreatic bud and this is dorsal pancreatic bud which have now fused and which enters into the at the level of the major duodenal papilla over here and this is the section which is taken over here you can see developing duodenum this is the dorsal pancreatic bud and the ventral pancreatic bud this is the section where you can see because of the rotation the ventral pancreatic move uh, behind the duodenum and it fuses later on with the dorsal pancreatic part. So here you can see the fusion of both the parts. So, what are the different anomalies of the duodenum? The duodenal stenosis due to incomplete re-canalization of the stomach. This can occur also duodenal atresia due to failure of the re-canalization of the duodenum to occur. So, these two are the different anomalies which are associated with the duodenum. And in both of these two types of anomalies, there will be clinical sign will be the polyhydramnios because fetus can't swallow the amniotic fluid as there is either stenosis or atresia and because of this uh, the fluid will accumulate in the amniotic cavity and the clinical presentation will be the polyhydramnios. So here I complete my today's class dear student. The, the, uh, here are the references the Langman's medical embryology the developing human by the Keith L. Moore and the Gray's anatomy by the Susan Stranding the 40th edition. Thank you very much for your attention. And um, Allah is till the next class.